Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss the Genpas PG 2020 examination paper for Master of Physiotherapy examination with the solutions. This is the part 4 of the video where I am going to discuss about the questions from 31 to 40. So, if you are new to this channel, then please watch the previous three parts by clicking the i button above. Thank you. Question number 31 strongest ligament of the body is options are option a pubofemoral option b iliofemoral option c ischiofemoral and option d all of the above now let's see the answer okay in this figure you can see the ligaments of the hip joint now let's check out the answer so the answer is option b that is iliofemoral ligament now the iliofemoral ligament is the strongest ligament in the body and attaches the anterior inferior iliac spine to the intertrochanteric crest of the femur. Question number 32. What is the most common primary malignant tumor of bone? Option A. Ewing sarcoma. Option B. Osteosarcoma. Option C. Chondrosarcoma. And option D. GCT. So the correct answer is option B. Osteosarcoma. The most common primary malignant bone tumors are osteosarcoma followed by chondrosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma. Question number 33. Vestibular stimulation when used to treat a child with autism is least effective for improving which of the following? Option A. Communication. Option B. Hyperresponsiveness. Option C. Self stimulation. And option D. Muscle tone. So the correct answer is option B. Hyperresponsiveness. In my opinion. Because vestibular stimulation maintains muscle tone, improves communication, and encourages self regulation. Right? But not hyperresponsiveness so for reference you can follow this link it is given in the description box below question number 34 which of the following condition would be considered as contraindication for aquatic therapy option a chronic pain option b cerebral palsy option c urinary tract infection and option d multiple sclerosis okay so the correct answer is option c urinary tract infection in case of multiple sclerosis and cerebral palsy you can do the aquatic therapy with some precautions but in case of uti you simply can't put a patient in an aquatic therapy to know more about this you can follow the therapeutic exercise qualification book and also see the physiopedia link that is given in the description box question number 35 which of the following is not a relative precaution for the use of trendelenburg position option a nausea option b obesity option c pulmonary edema and option d secretion retention so in my opinion the answer is option a nausea in this figure you can see the trendelenburg position this is used for lower abdominal colorectal gynecology and genital urinary surgeries in this type of position patient's arm should be tucked at their sides and patient must be secured to avoid sliding on the surgical table this is avoided for extremely obese patient right and risks include diminished lung capacity diminished tidal volume and pulmonary compliance so you cannot use it in case of edema or secretion retention so the option that left is option a nausea so the answer is option a question number 36 which of the following findings are not associated with cerebellar disease option a intention tremor option b ataxia option c resting tremor and option d dysmetry so the answer is option c resting tremor because resting tremor is seen in basal ganglia disorders like in parkinson disease now before making more progress in the video here is a short announcement if you like my work and want to support me to carry out more projects like this you can contribute by donating me any amount suitable for you you can find the donation link in the comment box now get back to the video question number 37 weakness of which muscle would make it particularly difficult to ambulate with crutches Option A, medial deltoid. Option B, latissimus dorsi. Option C, rhomboids. And option D, erector spine. Okay, so the answer is option B, that is latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi, that is this muscle, is an important shoulder depressor, which is also an important crotch muscle. So weakness of this muscle will really can get you into trouble with your crotch walking. Question number 38. A sensory examination reveals light touch impairment to the anterolateral thigh, lateral calf and the sole of the foot. 
When recording these findings, what are the corresponding dharma terms respectively? The options are Okay, so the correct answer is option D that is L3, L5 and S1. So for anterolateral thigh, the correct dermatome is L3. For lateral cuff, the correct dermatome is L5. And for sole of the foot, the correct dermatome is either L4, L5 or S1 but never S2. So the option D matches the answer. Question number 39. Trouble in saying or writing by patient what he means is option A expressive aphasia, option B receptive aphasia, option C global aphasia and option D anomic aphasia. So the correct answer is option A expressive aphasia. In expressive aphasia or also known as Broca's aphasia, it is a type of aphasia characterized by partial loss of the ability to produce language, spoken, manual or written. Although comprehension generally remains intact. A person with expressive aphasia will exhibit effortful speech. Question number 40. Which of the following isolation categories would require only the use of a mask? Option A. Strict isolation. Option B. Contact isolation. Option C. Respiratory isolation. And Option D. Enteric precaution. So in my opinion, the answer is Option D. Enteric precaution. To know more about this, you can check the reference given in the description box below. Okay, so thank you for watching the video till the end. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon. You can also join my telegram channel to get all the notes and book PDFs. So do that too. See you in the next video.